In this video, I'm going to be giving you the main things that you need every single year in both Madden and college football to create a good, solid championship level defense. Now, this is something that I literally spend probably 90% of my time trying to learn and, and, and understand because I do think that in, fo in the football gaming industry, especially on next-gen consoles, defense has been really difficult right really really difficult and so if you could have a good defense in a game that's more offensive it's going to really help you win more games so that being said this is kind of from a lot of lab work and really me just trying to put my main thoughts into one video that can kind of help you understand these are some of the keys as we're trying to kind of put our defensive schemes uh, together, all right? So I do have the Colts playbook booted up here on offense. Main reason we're doing that is just, to, uh, just because I want to use the main offense. Whenever you're building a defense, it is really, really important that you make sure that you are testing that defense against the best offenses in the game, the best formations in the game. Does your blitz work against bunch and trips and tight? Does it work against those main formations you're going to be seeing that is super important to understand, okay? So the first thing that you need in a uh, on defense every single year, it doesn't matter if it's Madden, it doesn't matter if it's college football, it doesn't matter if it's 24, 23, 22. Literally, this has been true ever since I started playing Madden back in Madden 2010. You have to have a blitz. You have to have a blitz. And the reason you have to have a blitz is because a blitz is not only going to put pressure on your opponent but it is going to mo more importantly increase the or um, it's going to shorten the time at which you have to cover the reason that's important is because historically zones are not that hard to manipulate in madden man coverage is not that good match coverage is almost always broken so you only have to you, you need the ability to only have to cover for a couple of seconds because if you give them all day there's going to be something open OK, so with that, we're going to show that. And then another big thing about about uh, defense in general, and I think a big tip every single year is understanding that the most the biggest couple assets that you actually have defensively, the main ones are the ability to make everything look the same so that your opponent does not get a leg up on you. So the way that we do that in this Madden is baseline. Next year, it's going to be a little bit different because they are removing base line from the game. So what I think that means is practically, I think it's going to change the formation meta. I don't think base press dollar, right? You can't really do that. It's going to be more maybe nickel 3-3, three, three, nickel 3-3 three, three, cub, 3-3-5 three, three, odd. Or you're going to have to come out in the same base, like you're going to have to come out in the same blitz every play and then adjust from there. I think that's kind of where we're going uh, in terms of the alignment because you need that alignment to always look the same. Up until this point, it has been baseline is the key to doing this. You could do it out of other things. Uh, you could you could do it different ways as well. But in general, uh, this is this is it. So the first thing is with baseline and what you can do in this Madden is you could set like DB Fire Two as an audible. You could set Cover Two Press as an audible. Um, if you wanted to base out of Cover Two Press, you certainly could do that. You could base out of Free Safety Zone Blitz. You could put Cover Two Cloud. So you could have you know, basically the same look and go about 15 different directions just in terms of the play call that you have, right? And then you would just come out in, in this free safety blitz play every single time. Now, the first big tip I have for you is find a good blitz. We have them on our channels. We have them in our eBooks. You've got to have a good four, five, or six man blitz. This year's game, this free safety zone blitz is really good because if you pinch your D line, you back off the slot corner and you throw that safety in a zone, a lot of times this guy is going to come right up the middle and you can make this blitz even better if you were to uh, put that slot corner that is on his side you you could uh, you could blitz him. This will make that blitz even better, and you'll see here now it's going to absolutely scream through the a gap. I also think that in next gen Madden and a lot of the future blitzing concepts, uh, I don't think slot corner blitzes are going to be as good as they've been in years past. Now another blitz that we have is we have this DB Fire Two. So the cool part about this DB Fire Two is this is a different blitz. It's a different concept, but it's still very effective and oftentimes is going to be able to come in off that left side slot corner. It's more of an edge rush than an A-gap blitz, right? 
Uh, another thing we have is let's say we want to send, you know, maybe a heavy blitz, send six people at them. We have that out of the play spinner, which is really good if they block a running back. The point is we have and, – and if you just look at the formation as a whole, if you just look at dollar as a whole, one, two, three, four, four different ways – that you can really blitz from this formation. Another thing a lot of people didn't do this year, they could have done, they could have done a little more 3-3-5 three, three, odd type where you stack this guy, uh, which will make that blitz a little bit better as well. Okay, bottom line that I want to leave you with on the blitzing aspect is there's always a good blitz at Madden, and I would say to have the best defense possible, you need to be running the best blitz in the game. Whatever the most effective blitz in the game is, you need to be in that, um, or at least some similar concept. For example, a lot of people were in 3-3-5 odd, but if you look at what 3-3-5 odd practically really was, this is kind of what it looked like. This is really ultimately the same concept as dollar. It's just from a different formation. So every, there's literally probably two maybe three blitzing concepts this year and that people have been utilizing, right? So anyway, the point is you've got to have a blitz. You really do. Now, another big point that we really uh, want to emphasize is you have to make it look the same. So what we want to do from this typically is we're going to want to press. And then from there, we're going to want to pinch or D line. Now from here, we can run this a gap four man. We can run this a gap five man. We could run uh, DB fire two, or we could run all three. Uh, we could run spinner basically like this. So the point here is from that look, we can send three or four different blitzes that do three or four different things. Um, if your blitz is good enough on its own, you don't even have to do that. There was a time this, in this uh, game where a lot of people were just running this cover two press and they were basically backing the slot corner off and they were either gonna send four or they were going to send five. That was basically the way people played the game. Obviously, it's changed slightly uh, just in terms of the way that it is the most effective that gives you the most bang for your buck in terms of disguise. Now, something else that is super important, you do have to think about this now in your game plans. It used to be you just had to be able to shoot the run. Now what you have to be able to do is you have to be able to defend things like the audible around meta, which is why base and line has been even more potent because you just get the same look every single time, regardless of if they audible or not. But the other thing is these RPOs, as you see right here, this RPO, super good. I've got to have a plan, not only to defend the run, but also to defend the RPO. So one of the best RPO defenses in the game is to utilize a man up of the linebacker to the bubble. So like here, the bubble screen to the left side. So what we're going to do, we're just going to man this guy up onto circle. And then what this is going to allow us to do defensively is we're just going to basically be able to shoot the run. And then as you see there, we're going to be able to get up. He's going to run up there and go guard that player. Now, if they were to go to, let's say, this this trips, uh, this trips play, you know, what, really what RPOs come down to is a numbers advantage. You know, but essentially – if we were in something like this, now we're going to have a, a pretty good numbers advantage over there. We're going to have more people than they can block. That is important. So this is also why dollar is good because with this, the use of these slot corners and the use of these man-ups, you can defend a lot of different RPOs and running sets, right? So you need to be able to have kind of a – for a good, a truly good defense, you really need to have a plan for stopping the run, right? Um, and so another – kind of way that this shows is let's say you're playing someone and they come out in this under center stuff well free safety zone bliss not really good at defending this we need to be in more something like a db fire where we're gonna essentially you know man this guy up here and then we're gonna try to stop the stretch with this backside shoot or scrape so dollar kind of fits that because you're able to stop a lot of the different ways people can run just by your front manipulation. The fact that these slot corners set the edge really well in the run game. Um, you know, there's a lot of defenses that can stop the run, right? That's why it's not, in my opinion, the first criteria for a good defense. I think the first criteria is you need to have the best blitz in the game. The second, third criteria is you really need to be able to stop RPOs, have a plan for stopping um, the run game, all that stuff. Now, another element 
of Madden that is really important is your coverage adjustments. And most important, and, and, and really these coverage adjustments go for whatever the meta formations are that you're going to face. You would probably start there and then you would kind of get out of there. So you're going to have like a base coverage shell and then you're going to kind of adjust that coverage shell based off tendency. So for example, really the base coverage shell this year is really something like what you see right here. This is going to do a good job against the majority of things Bunch would do, right? You've got a shaded down hook curl. You've got that purple for the C route. you got the quarter for the tight end wheel. And you have that deep half for double post. So you have a lot of, you know, capability here to defend quite a bit of stuff. And with the KOs, it's going to make it play a little bit better. The reason I'm saying this is you're going to have kind of a base coverage. And then let's say, you know, maybe they start to attack you. So one of the ways they might attack that base coverage that we have is through throwing, you know, this double corner combo. So I need to have a defense that's going to be really good for this double corner. So what would that defense might be? You might ask, well, I'm glad you asked. It's going to be this cover three cloud. So this cover three cloud is one of the best ways in Madden uh, to consistently defend this double corner, just man up the tight end. You have that outside third that's going to take that deep corner, and then that man up in that cloud is going to do a really good job of taking that tight end away. So you want to have kind of a systematic bend but don't break defense that has adjustments behind it that some of the best adjustments for the best formation. And oftentimes, you're only going to have one or two, maybe three coverages that you like for formations, right? I have a ton, but you really only need about five, three to five uh, defenses per formation. And, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm saying with that, like, that's my, you know, like, for example, this right here, would probably be one that I would do. This would be like my base. And then situationally, maybe I go to this cover three cloud, and one of the things we can do out of this cover three cloud is we can actually run the defense like, like this, for example. This is a pretty good way to run it, and we're going to send four off that edge. Why would you want to do that? Well, because the best way to block the blitz would be to double team here, and this slot corner will scream in off the edge. So maybe that's, a, maybe that's an adjustment that you want to run. Maybe another one that you want to run is out of that free safety zone blitz, and you want to really start to send some pressure, so you're going to do something like this right here. Perfectly good. Really good adjustment. Another thing you could do with this is you could go cover two. So you, know, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't take that long to get to five, uh, but you just need to have adjustments that are going to do very specific and effective things for the way your opponent is going to play. And then really the last portion of what makes a defense good in Madden or how to build a championship defense, and this is arguably the most important and arguably the easiest, and that is to build a lockdown red zone defense. At the end of the day, if you play terrible defense, but you keep the opponent in front of you and you get down to the 10-yard line, the 10-yard line and in is the hardest place on the field to be able to score because it has the most limited amount of space and you only get four downs, right? So this is where sometimes maybe you get out of dollar, sometimes you stay in dollar, but let's say, let's say the red zone scheme most people run is this swing slot. So we want to be in a defense that we know is going to be really good against this. So that might mean that we go to this nickel three, three, uh, if I can get on it here and run this, um, this nickel blitz where we flip the play, we're going to maybe set this defense up like so, right? But we have our adjustments. So these are our good adjustments for the red zone, right? So maybe that might mean we're going to send five, and then you see how we have that slot corner over there, a couple different, a lot of different things we can do from a coverage perspective here. One of the easiest things to do is just cloud both, outside, both of these outside players or hard flat, right? Just have these outside flat zones. So now if they run the ball or try to throw an RPO, you've got a really good formation that's going to be able to do that. You're going to need to have red zone defense in a little like kind of bonus tip. You need to have goal line defense. A lot of people really don't take this seriously. You need to, and I, I'm just as guilty as anybody, you need to have good, solid goal line defense that is going to be able to consistently stop things like QB sneak, things like power O, you've got to be able to defend that kind of stuff down here. Super, super slept on. A lot of people don't have that. And in, in my opinion, this is, this is uh, one of the most underrated things, but you've got to be able to stop your QB sneaks. You really do. You got to be able to stop QB sneak. You got to be able to stop power O. You got you to be able to stop those, those, those plays. If you don't, if you're not able to stop them, 
um, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, right? Because there's going to be it's going to be free touchdowns once they get inside the five. So you want to have something that stops QB sneak, power O, maybe a stretch, and maybe a toss. Super important. Like I cannot overstate that. Uh, red zone defense is not just red zone defense, but it is also goal line defense. And I have been guilty for years of not having a good goal line defense. And I feel like I've finally committed to having a consistently good goal line defense every single year. And it's made my defense better. Because if you can get stops in the red zone, you can play terrible defense. But you're going to be in most games because you're going to hold your opponents to threes and you're going to get sevens yourself. Red zone defense, arguably the most important part of this. So to recap, to build a great defense in Madden, to put a great defense in college football, you need a good blitz. And I would argue the best blitz. But you need a, a top level four, five, or six man blitz that forces your opponent to have to pass protect, set up pass protection. That's number one. Number two. You need the ability to, uh, for all of your blitzes and your coverages to look the same pre-snap so that you can change the picture post-snap so that your three-man shed defense looks just like your send five pressure defense. You need the ability to stop the RPOs and the run game. That is super important. It's going to be more important next year. You need the ability to adjust. You need to have a... Uh, adjustment plan for the best offenses in the game that might be three to five base coverage shells that you can kind of apply to every formation and then you need to be willing and able and kind of prepared to make subtle slight adjustments to those defenses in the middle of the game based off of what your opponent is doing and simultaneously you need to understand that you don't want to over adjust those coverages so it's really important to understand specifically in your preparation why does this defense get beat? What are the holes in the coverage that I am running? And then how can I have a play that complements that within my, defensive, within my defensive game plan? And then lastly, and I think most importantly, maybe, maybe the blitz is just, just a little bit above that, but I think very importantly to build a championship defense, you've got to have great red zone defense. You've got to have – once they get the ball inside the 10-yard line, you should be licking your chops and saying, you know, we hold to three or we get turnovers. Great red zone defense is the hallmark of great comp defenses. So thank you for watching the video all the way through. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to take your Madden or college football game to the next level, you want to get all of the best defenses, offenses in the game, all of my ebooks are available for one price of $10 by joining my school.com community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. Cool part about that is it unlocks all of our college and all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to that stuff. So that link is available down in the description below.